Welcome to the plus add-on tutorials. Today I gonna demonstrate plus extras functionality column improvements in which we have developed some styles for the columns which will improve your productivity and the design in the responsive layouts. First of all, we have faced lots of responsive issues in some particular breakpoints of web design. That's why we have created a custom media query breakpoints for column settings in which you can select the width, the visibility and many other options. Let's see how to set up that. So first of all in the column you need to find out the plus extras which is available in the advanced tab. In the advanced tab you will have the option for the responsive breakpoints in which you just need to select the media queries max width value you can turn it on or keep it default and just put the minimum value so that is totally up to you to select the max and mean mean width which is totally depends on the media queries of css so you can select that from here then you will have the column width option and our column width option is advanced that means you can put the value in pixel percentage or the calci function so which will be very useful while making navigations then you have the margin value fading value column visibility val value that means you can make it visible or invisible during this max and mid value in the media query. Then you have also option for the column order. That means in particular screen size, you can change the column order of particular column. So here are the examples. Like for example, this Mr. Saf will be hidden from 1100 pixel to 1200 pixels. So let's try it out. If Mr. Saf will be hidden from 1100 to 1200, let's make our screen size 1150 and let's see how Mr. Saf will react on that. He is gone, right? So it's working and it's working based on the screen size. You also have the different layouts and different sequence we have made here. You can check it out in your demo. Right. Then you have the column width option and which is available for the desktop, tablet and mobile. These options for just for the custom breakpoints. Now let's put that aside and go to the plus extras and it in which you have the column width option which you can put for all three devices and again you can use in the pixel percentage and calcy function so these are the options based on this then you have the column order again you can use that from the plus extras then you have the sticky column option which you can turn on using this option then there is the option for the top spacing and the bottom spacing and you have the option to turn it on for in desktop tablet and the mobile you can adjust those options using this sticky column functionality we also made one extra option in which we have lots of confusions to figure out which section is hidden right in the back end so for example this section is hidden in the text of using this way for example this is the hidden on the text of but in general elementor we cannot figure out if this section is hidden or not that's why we have put the functionality to make it with the opacity so if you turn it on and turn it off, you can see that clearly. 
then you have the option for the custom CSS. Now you can put the custom CSS as per your needs, which is available in the any column and the plus extras. You can put the custom CSS over there. So these are the improvements we have made in the columns and some of the improvements are in the sections. So thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites.